about it. Once the amount starts reaching a thousand milliliters, however, we start to have complications. Once the body starts suffering this kind of blood loss, there is not enough hemoglobin to supply the tissues with the oxygen or the fluid that they need. Signs and symptoms manifest depending on the rate and severity of blood loss. And the blood loss could be due to a number of things, including internal or external hemorrhage due to surgical procedures, GI or gastrointestinal bleeding, trauma, severe burns, etc. Clinical manifestations include restlessness, a subtle rise in the respiratory rate, weakness, stupor, or a sense of insensibility, which is a near unconscious state. Irritability and pale, cool, moist skin, excessive blood loss can lead to shock. I'll be getting into that in a moment, but first I want to emphasize that in hypovolemic episodes, the signs and symptoms will be your primary way of assessing the rate and severity of blood loss. Not lab values because the lab values will not correlate the blood loss as well as the signs and symptoms.